Okay, so we're talking about cooperative learning. Uh, in a, co a cooperative learning situation, students work in small groups to achieve a common goal. That ought to sound familiar. When students engage in cooperative learning, they reap the many benefits of student dialogue, including greater comprehension and integration of the subject matter, exposure to new strategies, and increased perspective taking. I think that you can honestly say you've done that. Several strategies that tend to enhance the effectiveness of cooperative learning groups uh, for you as a teacher, a future teacher. Form groups based on knowledge about which students are likely to work effectively with one another. You're going to know students who can't get along. Um, I wouldn't always let that be a part of the puzzle because students need to learn that in the real world, there's going to be folks all the time that you're going to have to deal with um, in however means that is in a civil way, whether you can get along or not. It's just the way the world works. Number two, give group members one or more common goals toward which to work. They need to know. You need to set the outline. What do you want them to accomplish? Provide class guidelines about how to behave. Um, when is the appropriate time that they can come get you? Um, I, I always had a rule of thumb. You, you work with your partners. If you can't find an answer, find another group. If that group can't answer your question, then the third person to come see would be me. Uh, number four, structure tasks so the group members must depend on one another for success. Um, it's all or nothing with us. So uh, I want the students not to be any shining star, no one shining star, but everybody has to work together. Five, serve primarily as a monitor and resource as the teacher. I mean, you will primarily serve as a monitoring resource, a go-to person making sure everybody's on task. Uh, but you can't overtake their projects, and you become owners of it. That, that hasn't helped the students. Six, make students individually accountable for their achievement. And seven, at the end of the activity, have groups evaluate the effect, their effectiveness. Hmm, this is sounding familiar. <laughs> For these reasons, cooperative learning is an instructional strategy that best helps students acquire better self-regulation skills because they have to work independently, hold themselves accountable, those kinds of things. Um, I, I'd be curious, uh, text me your answer. You, you all have done service learning. How many examples, how many of you saw examples of cooperative learning while you were service learning? Let me know. One, zero, ten, fifty, however many.